I'm excited about this Finding Face segment. We're, we're listening to you sing there, Angela. George says, you know what? You can't hear it, but you sound really good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> really thank do. You. Angela Brown, she's well-known here, opera singer, soprano, right, yes, of course. Yes, And also Kate Appel. You're with the uh, St. Paul's Episcopal Church. And tell us, ladies, we have a healing service coming up. What is that all about? Well, it's not a healing service as if we're going in there touching folks and mm, you right. healed. It ain't like that. Okay. But it is a plea for healing. It's a prayer service for our community because so much has been going on in the world. Yes. I mean, from social unrest to yeah, uh, COVID to having, you know, anything that's going on with you. We, I just felt like we needed to have a collective sigh of relief, mm -hmm. an opportunity to come together in solidarity in the community, to, to show compassion for one another. I so agree. that's what this service so is So where did this about. idea come from? I think this goes back a few years, is yes. that right? Yes. Well, in 2005, I was invited to the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. by the president, President Bush at the time, and uh, to sing on this prayer service. And it was an interfaith service that I sang yeah. on that encompassed interfaith leaders, uh, civic leaders, and arts organizations. And so, uh, and T.D. Jakes was the speaker. And wow. so for years, my agent and I, Janet Gerald, had been having this brainchild that we would like to recreate this, but never had the opportunity or the funding. And uh, that's where this lady comes in. Yeah. But it's been okay. a, a blessing to be able to do it. Yeah, and can you tell us more about that, the service is coming up and it, what's going to be going it, on there? It's going to be at St. Paul's Episcopal Church, although this is an ecumenical service. Open mm -hmm. to anyone. You can be an atheist. It, do, it doesn't matter. We are all in need of healing. Everybody's invited. Uh, Faith, Justice, mm -hmm. and the Arts is the organization under the auspices of St. Paul's that, that is hosting it and funding it. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, it's an opportunity for anyone, any faith, to uh, go out and do something that can make a difference in our community. Okay, and that's coming up on March the 7th? Tuesday, March One the 7th, service, is that right? 630 at okay. St. Paul's Episcopal Church. Yeah. But you can live stream it through mm -hmm. Angela Brown Soprano, my YouTube channel. Okay. Oh, along with St. Paul's Episcopal Church, Indy has, will have a, also the link. Okay, so you, you can watch it there live or whatever, or attend it, or however you want to do it. So. Yeah, absolutely. It's free. Mm -hmm. Free, oh, free to the public. We like that. Come so, as you are, yeah. right after work. It does not what, matter. What, what will be going on at the service? Just you singing or preaching or? Well, well I won't be preaching. <laughs> prayer, uh, but there'll be lots of prayers. We'll have civic leaders that will have will that will um, read or pray for different segments of the population, whether it be for protection, whether it be for children. And sure. in between each one of these prayers, or every two prayers, there'll be a prayer that will be sung. But the jewel piece of this whole programming is a piece that was written by Ken Miedema, who mm. contacted me during the pandemic. And it's called Black Lives Curie. And there'll be a vocal ensemble made up of some of the heavy hitters here in Indianapolis, uh, led by Paolo Castro. I am the soloist, Tasha. Um, oh, she's going to kill me. <laughs> she's going to kill me. But we have a spoken word artist. I am Tasha. And um, then we have a dancers and a drummer. Boy. So it's going to be everyone there. Uh, it's going to be a spectacular moment yeah. in the arts and of the faith community. Well, what, what do you, we have like less than a minute. What are you hoping that people can take away from the service? I hope people will take away that they see that other people care, that we all matter, and we're all in this collective mm -hmm. community together, okay. and that we can just hug on one another. Right. Get it. Just, well, just, just say it's, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. So really collective do. side. Yeah, the door is open. Yeah, you know, again, tell us welcome. where is it at? We're running out of time, but where is it at? St. Paul's Episcopal Church, 600 North Meridian Street, 630, 630, Tuesday, March 7th. Okay, sounds really good. 
Can you just give me a little taste again? Of, oh, <laughs> want to hear your voice? <laughs> Y'all come on out, March 7th. At March 7th, I gotta be here, George. Beat that. I wanna hear you beat that. So, yeah. And she wasn't even warmed up. <laughs> no, right. I wasn't. 